Okay, so I had this idea for a photo. Now, as most of you know, the podcast has been up and running for a while. It's been up for a few weeks. It's doing really well. And I wanted to take a photo that kind of not only promoted it, but was just a really cool photo. I've got this idea in my head and I was thinking I could maybe take you guys along for the ride and show you how it's done or how I hope to create it. I hope it works. That's a lot of hope. Uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so the idea I had in my head was to take one of these cool podcast mics that we've got and have a cool shot of me kind of throwing it towards the camera. So I'm going to sketch out kind of roughly what I'm wanting. So I'm going to have my computer monitors in the back, me in the background, almost like throwing this in my hand here. And then the mic is going to be kind of big in the foreground here. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, so it's going to be all out of focus at the background, out of focus, and the mic is going to be in focus. So I did do a, a shot kind of like this before. It's over on my Instagram um, where it looked like I made a camera levitate. So I'm going to use that same technique again and see if I can get this microphone kind of levitating as if I'm throwing it towards the camera. So I'm going to need to do this in three stages, I think. I'm going to need to do the microphone um, that will be tack sharp and in focus. I'm going to take a photo of the background with me all out of focus. And then I'm going to need to figure out a way how to do the cable. I might try a couple of ways, um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. And then I'll take those three separate components and mash them all together in Photoshop. Okay, so I've got a kind of rough setup here for what I'm going to do. So I've got my camera set up here. This is the Sony A6000 with the 18 105 um, lens on it. I've got a small HD monitor plugged in so I can basically see what I'm shooting. Um, I've got my desk. I had to clear my desk up because it's an absolute riot usually. Got to make it look really nice. Um, and I've got this nice light in the corner. I'm using the big window for um, all natural light. Really soft light coming in the window but it should look great. If it doesn't look great, then it's my own fault. So yeah, um, so I've got that set up. And what I've also got here um, is just a big C stand. And this is where, this is basically my marker for where the microphone is gonna be. So I'm gonna be sitting here, microphone here, camera here. That's essentially it. Instead of actually throwing the microphone, at the camera, which is a bad, bad, bad idea. Um, I'm basically going to be suspending it from the C-stand. So I have ordered, I actually meant to pick some up last night when I was visiting back home, um, but I've ordered some fishing line. And fishing line is great because it's super thin, super strong, and you can hand things from it. You can get it set up really nice. Um, and you can also reposition it every so often um, just to get that kind of different range of um, angles for the subject that you're trying to shoot. So what I'd usually do for a shot like this is take a photo of the subject first, in this case it would be the mic, just to get lighting and stuff right on it. But considering the Amazon guy has not arrived yet with my fishing line, I'm going to take the background plate first with me and the computer and the desk, uh, nice and out of focus, get that done while we're waiting. So I've got the shot lined up here. Um, I've got my monitors in the middle, nice and symmetrical. I've got the nice light coming in from the window at this side. Um, I've got this big black door here, but we can't really do much about that at the moment, but hopefully it shouldn't detract from the photo too much. Um, another really important thing to do when you're setting up photos like this is to use manual focus. Um, that just means when you're taking a shot of the subject, focus dead on the subject, get it nice and crisp when you're doing your out of focus part, it's not trying to focus. You can just leave it out of focus. So then you get that nice depth of field later on. Okay, another really handy thing to have when you're taking a shot like this is a remote shutter. Now these things come for like, 
I think you can get them for less than a tenner and they're an absolute godsend when you're trying to get yourself in the shot at the same time as you're taking a photo. Instead of using all these self-timers and stuff, it's just it's a pain in the ass. Um, so get yourself one of these, really handy, really useful. You can't really go wrong with them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and try and take this shot now so you can you can watch me posing for a bit. That'll do. Okay, so let's see some of the shots I got here. I don't know if you can see them too well. Um, some nice kind of, nice out of focus. Oh, I like that one. Da -da. Uh, right, so that's the background plate um, all done. Really liking a couple of those shots. One thing I wanted to point out and when taking a shot like this, the last shot I took um, with the Canon camera, I actually used black thread instead of fishing line. And it was good, um, it worked, it did the, it did the job, um, but it's very delicate, so you can't really maneuver the camera too much. And I had to wind that stuff around that camera a lot, and there was a lot of like taking out um, the thread in Photoshop afterwards. Um, don't get me wrong, it did the trick, but that's why I've invested a couple of quid in some fishing line this time, just because these mics that I'm using, the Rode Pod mics, are hefty. They are hefty. So I basically didn't want to take the risk of smashing this into the ground. I know it's only on a carpet at the moment, um, but I think I'm going to have to put a couple of pillows down, just have a wee crash pad for it, just in case it does drop. To be honest, these things are built so well, um, they'd probably damage my floor more than they would the mic, but I don't really want to take that risk, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, just gotta, gotta wait now for the, the Amazon guy to get here. Don't really know what to do. Okay, so it's a couple of days later, um, hence the change of clothes. Um, fishing line finally arrived. Um, it's this stuff here, it's called Mine Warfare. Sounds a bit angry, but 100 meters worth, about four or five bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, definitely strong enough to hold whatever you want to dangle. Uh, so let's go check out the setup. Okay, so this is the final setup for the microphone. I've got the camera staying where it is. Got the microphone set up here, connected to the C-stand using the fishing line. What I've not done yet actually is put a cushion down. I don't want you guys saying, oh I tried your tutorial and I broke my camera because it fell off the thing. It's like, no. Cushion, safety. Safety. So this is the setup and what it looks like on the monitor. You can see the microphone in the middle there. You can also still see this fishing line, but don't worry, we'll get rid of that in Photoshop. And what I do notice today though, is it's a little bit duller than when we are shooting last. So what I've got is I've got one of these little aperture lights, um, super bright, you can see this now. Super bright, but they're about 50 bucks on Amazon. And what I can do is I can just hold this kind of down here and just kind of pick up a little bit of the highlights that aren't there. That's it, not there. That's it there. Um, just to kind of bring out those shadows a little bit um, on the microphone for when we're taking some photos. So yeah, let's let's get snapping then. Okay, so now we've got those photos, I'm gonna jump into Lightroom and Photoshop to do the rest. Um, I did have the issue with the cable and I was thinking about making that in some 3D software like Blender or 3ds Max, but I found a really cool technique that I think will work in Photoshop and it looks pretty good and it's super simple as well. So yeah, let's check it out. Um, so here we are in Lightroom. I've taken the selection of photos that I like. Got one there, one there, 
and a couple of the microphone ones as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one like this. I've already cropped it to um, suit my Instagram. I'm going to right click, edit in Photoshop. So there's my image open in Photoshop. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to go back into Lightroom. I'm going to take my microphone photo that I've already cropped to get out some of the some of the background because all we need is a microphone. I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit that in Photoshop as well. So what that does is opens both the photos, easy access in Photoshop. Got my background plate and a uh, microphone there. So what I like to do first actually is instead of cutting the whole thing out just now is get rid of the fishing line that is on the microphone itself. I'm going to do that using the clone stamp. Now, Adobe Photoshop 2019 has this really cool um, content aware fill, which can basically magic things away. But I think for this image, the clone stamp is really good because you can really fine tune um, what you want to get rid of and paint, paint out what you don't want. So the good thing about the fishing line, it's kind of semi-transparent. Basically what I'm going to do is paint out as much of the fishing light as I can here. Now of course the more time you spend on this, the, um, the neater it's going to be. Um, but for kind of demo sake at the moment for you guys, I'm just doing this really really quite rough um, in order to get this looking good. Okay, maybe about there. Um, yeah, so that'll do. So what I'm going to do is basically select all, copy it, and put it on top of my image here. So transform it, just make it a little bit smaller in here so it fits in the whole image. and. Now that I've got rid of those cables, what I'm going to do is basically get rid of the rest of this background. And that's done by basically deleting, using the eraser tool and just going around the whole thing. That's a little bit time consuming, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed this up a bit. Okay, so that's me cut my microphone out. You can see it here. I'm just going to maybe transform it a little bit, kind of position it a bit better in the scene. Rotate it slightly, put it up here slightly, and something like that. So what I want to try and do now is try and get this cable in there. And the way I found to do it is if we make a new layer, there are three and get the pen tool and just draw in where we think the cable would be. I'm going to have it come away down here. It's kind of flowing round up to the hand and like behind my hand there. So that'll be where my cable is. We next go to the brush tool, make sure it's quite a chunky brush. Maybe bring that down a little bit, maybe about 100 pixels. I'm going to go into my brush settings. Now, if you go into brush settings, go into shape dynamics, um, and go to the control, and you want this to be fade, and you're going to bump this up to maybe about 400. That basically means it will start off thicker and then taper out into um, a more thin brush, which gives that sense of depth. So you want it to start thick and then go to thin. So I found for my settings, you can play about with these, 400 for the control and your minimum diameter of 10%. Do that. Once you go back to your pen tool here, you want to right click and go stroke path. And you want to make sure this is set to brush. To go that, that's actually looking pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit delete and that will delete the stroke path that we made. There we go. So that's got our brush settings here. It's actually a little bit um, too thin. It kind of tapers off a bit too quickly there. So what I'm going to do is go back into my brush settings. Oh, sorry. Click on brush. Brush settings. I'm going to maybe put that up to um, 600. Let's try that. Do the same again. Back down to pen. Right click. Stroke path. 
Okay, and that's kind of clean my path. Yeah, that's a little bit better there. You can see it's tapering from thick kind of down to here to the thinnest and then it will curl around. Okay, so now that we've got that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically move this layer underneath my microphone so you can see it come down. And I'm going to double click on it to bring up the layer style options and I'm going to go to bevel and emboss. Now you can see here on my photo already it's created this nice highlight on the right hand side which is exactly where my window is coming in which is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm going to click OK so that's giving me that nice highlight there. Um, also you can see it's a little bit sharp so I'm going to go to filter blur and what I'm going to do actually is just go to Gaussian blur. Now this basically will blur out the whole cable there which I think looks really nice. Um, you could do it go into lens blur and set your depth of field and things but for this when the focus point is right on the end of this microphone it's going to be blurry anyway so it's not that noticeable. So pretty much that is that is it. What I'll do is I'll do a little bit of clean up here on the brush so that it makes it look like the cable's going back into my hand. But that's essentially it guys. Um, to go back into Lightroom you just go file, you save it and then jump back over into Lightroom and there it's there. Then you can um, do all your exposure corrections your highlights, low lights, and whatever. Edit it whatever way you want. I've got some presets for sale on my um, website. Go feel free to check them out at styledigital.net. So this is the photo I created. Um, obviously you can do whatever you want with it. Play around with some different colors and whatnot. Um, but yeah, just have fun. Okay guys, so yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope my photo turned out the same, if not better than my original concept. And um, please let me know in the comments below. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Follow me over on my Instagram at stellar underscore digital. Would love to see your photos. Please DM me them over there. Love to see what you guys get up to. And yeah, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.